Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, here to do another general read. Ooh, so exciting! Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below. Tell me if any of this resonates with you. I love to read your comments. Like I said, this is a general read, so the entire message may not resonate with you, but make sure you do watch from beginning to end because there might be a message within the message that you're being guided today to watch. Um, also, if love becomes a part of a reading today, my default is reading to a female about a male, so pronouns are interchangeable. He's can be she's, she's can be he's, he, he, she, she, them or they. Whatever's going on in your life, whatever applies to you, we're going to get started. I have the AE Weight Tarot deck, and um, I'm just doing a quick little shuffle. We're just going to cut this deck into three, get our Witch's Tarot, and do that as a clarifying card. Okay, one, two, three, and then we have our Witch's Tarot. These are all face down. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm just cutting the deck. Just face down. I'm not taking any flyers. Okay, so we're going to do one two, and then three. Okay. Our first card is the High Priestess in reverse. That's being clarified by the Magician. All right. Wow. Okay. And our next card is the Ace of Cups. And that is being clarified by the King of Cups in reverse. And finally, we have the sun in reverse, and that's being clarified by the high priestess in reverse. So that is, this is our message, this high priestess in reverse. She appeared twice in two different decks. So let's go over the high priestess in reverse. It is a blockage of your intuition, what you're feeling um, there's a gut reaction to, to a circumstance, a situation, something that's going on and um, you're blocking it. You don't want to um, address it. You don't want to go with what your gut feeling is. And I feel like, like a message that I'm kind of getting with this is like learning a lesson. So like you're learning a lesson about something or you've been told to do something a certain way and you've been going that route, but it just doesn't feel right. If that makes sense. This is like reaching out to someone. It's just like you're being, you have a guide that's going towards a situation and you are blocking it because it doesn't seem, and, and I shouldn't say it doesn't seem right. But it just seems like it's not what you should do. Like your mind saying that, but your gut saying, no, you need to go for it. So there's a big blockage that's happening. And this blockage is really affecting your mood and it's affecting your um, positivity and your higher vibration and really affecting the sun energy. The sun is one of the most positive signs. This is also like a burnout with it being in reverse as well. So um, it has a negative aspect with it being in the reverse and it's because of this high priestess. So let's go over to the high priestess being clarified by the magician. So like I said, there's something that's going on and you're totally blocking it. There's a blockage that's happening and you have to manifest this energy. You have to be the one that does whatever this is. You can't wait for someone else to do it. And I'm, I'm like the kind of energy that I'm feeling is um, for like example, like a ghosting situation and reaching out to someone. And it's like, I don't want to reach out to this person to seem like I'm desperate, to seem like I um, 
am desperate or like need them because I don't. And that's the truth. But it feels like you do need to reach out to them because there's unsolved issues. There's something that is blocking this sun from being upright. And it is because of that. So, and it feels like you know that you need to reach out and you know that this is an opportunity that you have to do. It's just like you don't want to do it because it seems like you're the always the one that's doing it. So, it may be time to really reach out and um, you can forgive, offer a love. And that doesn't necessarily mean like a romantic relationship. This can be also be like a friendship, maybe an ex-friend um, or something that where it just went sour. And offer your love and support in the sense of that you love and support yourself. Don't do it for this other person. Don't, and that's that's kind of the, the mind shift that we need to get into this, where you have this blockage that's going forward and it's not wanting to be the first one to do it, but it feels like that's the right thing to do. And you don't wanna give this person that like inkling that it's because you're weak or whatever. This energy of you moving forward is for yourself only. It's not for that other person. And that other person is, is irrelevant. Um, that other person has nothing to do with what is happening in here, in this reading. So this is all your spiritual growth that needs to happen, that needs to come on your end. Because there's an emotional instability that's happening here. There's a lot that's going on where it's like a burnout, maybe a lower vibration, negative energy, and it's this blockage. And what needs to happen is this offering, this offering of love. And it doesn't have to mean that, hey, we're best friends again, or hey, we're a partner, we're in a relationship again. It's just reaching out and saying, how are you? How are you doing? Been thinking about you and I'm sorry. And maybe that's all you need to do. And if you hear from them, great. That's awesome. If you don't hear from them, great. That's awesome. You've done your part to really unblock that high priestess energy. And that's going to really open your third eye and become the person that you're wanting to be. Because this, the high priestess is your inner self, your soul, your, your self, and it's living your own truth. And um, being stubborn, I understand that. <laughs> I'm a Taurus, hello. Um, being stubborn and um, being someone that's holding grudges. If you're allowed to feel the, the feelings that you feel, but to continuously hold grudges is poison to you. And I feel like there's a lot of grudges and maybe emotional baggage that's been happening, especially while we are in quarantine. And it's time to just really focus on releasing that. And that is to get this high priestess blockage and get her in the upright because if you see there's two pillars this is like a twin flame energy as well this is your masculine and feminine energy coming together and balancing out when it is upside down there's a blockage when it's up you have a higher vibration so that's what we're trying to do right now is get this flipped up so we are listening to our intuition, we are sucking up our pride, and we're just going to be moving forward in the sense of um, righting our wrongs and doing what we know is right. And even if you're looking at self-help books or you've asked other people about it and they're like, no, no, no. but. If your intuition is guiding you to something and it's going to be a positive outcome for yourself 
and not for like an outcome for a relationship or anything like that. So you're not doing this to, hey, if I'm going to go contact an ex, for instance, I'm going to see how they're doing. You're not going for the outcome to be with that person. You're going to the outcome to be, okay, I reached out to them because I feel like this might be a lonely time for them and I'm trying to um, show friendship in that sense or caring that I do give a crap about them. And that's where your emotional sense is, where it's coming off of you as a person and not out of an outcome that's going to benefit you. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe. Also comment below. Don't comment about how I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you do um, follow me on Instagram at Witch Boise, Twitter at Witch Boise, and Facebook Witch Boise. All right, I will see you later. Maybe I'll be wearing makeup. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.